Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind me. Get thee behind me. Victory is mine. By the blood of Jesus, by the cross of Christ, thank God for the cross. Thank God for the blood. Victory is mine. Victory in Jesus Christ. Victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Welcome fellow believers. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father in Jesus' name. Today we are going to our Bible study. It's a game which is the master class. I do the master class once in the week. And then I talk about other things during the week, just preaching. But we go to teaching, which is in the book of Galatia. I love the book of Galatia. Oh my God. I love Galatia, efficient collation, but I love Galatia a lot. Galatian book is amazing. But today I want to go to Galatian 5. Let's read Galatian 5 a little bit. We start from verse 13. It says that, yeah, for brethren, you have been called unto liberty. So only use the only use not your liberty for an occasion of the flesh, but by love to save one another. For all, all the law is fulfilled in one word. The whole law of the Bible is fulfilling one word. Even this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ told us. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that you are not consumed by one another. This I say then, walk in the spirit, so you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lust against the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost against the flesh, they are contrary to one another. Even they cannot do anything together. If you are led by the Spirit of God, then you are not under the law. Let me repeat that again. If you are led by the Spirit of the living God, if you are, the, the Holy Spirit is your guide now. The Holy Spirit is living you if you are born again to Christian. You are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh manifest are manifest the works of the flesh the works of the sinful nature the sinful creation man who fall in the garden that means the adam nature the works of the flesh are this adultery fornication uncleanliness lavish coarseness idolatry witchcraft hatred variance emolution wrath strife seduction heresy envy murder drunkenness reverend and such like of all which i tell you before as i have also told you in time past they which do such things cannot inherit the kingdom of god but the fruit of the spirit what is the fruit of the spirit let's go there they say the fruit of the spirit is because they talk about the works of the flesh are but now they say the fruit of the spirit is because it's one holy ghost who is living in you that is producing all these good fruits the fruit of the holy ghost is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness the temperance temperance means um temperance is means self-control temperance against such there is no law and they that are christ have crucified if you belong to christ let me repeat again and those that belong to jesus christ have crucified past tense you have crucified your flesh and with your affection and your loss all your affection and loss was crucified with the lord jesus christ of nazareth and if we live in the spirit yes we are living in the spirit because we are born again the holy spirit is living now in our spirit if you live in the spirit then let us then walk in the spirit it's just like if you are a human being live like a human being if you are a pig live like a pig but we are now born of the spirit of god they say live walk in the spirit amen in jesus name let us not desire again any vain glory provoking one another another envying one another in the name of the lord jesus christ so the law is not for the righteous i wanted to say 
the law is not for the righteous the bible talks say it said here that anyone who is in christ if you are born again christian you are not under if you are led by the spirit of god the bible say all those who are christ we are led now by the spirit of god the book of uh, romans 8 says that so we are led now by the spirit of god and if you are led by the spirit of god you are not under the law the law is for the lawbreakers for the murderers for the killers for the manslayers for the for for the profound for the war, war mongers for the homosexual those are the people the law is for but if you are a born again christian you are a new creation all things have passed away and everything has become new so now you are not under the law because those who belong to jesus christ if you belong to jesus christ you are born again that means your life is in christ hidden in christ and christ is in god if you are that person then the bible says that you have already crucified your flesh your affection and your loss your flesh means your sinful nature has been crucified already because if you remember paul uh, talk about in galatians 2 20 that i am crucified with Christ he was talking about his sinful nature the old man he said I'm crucified with Christ nevertheless I the new the I nevertheless I live so he's talking now the I now is the new man I live and it's not I will live it's Christ that is living in me that's what he said the life I live now I live by the faith of the Son of God who died and rose again for me the book of Romans 6 6 says also that anyone that belongs to Jesus Christ amen the, you have crucified crucified that the old nature was nailed with the lord jesus christ on the cross when jesus christ died so when you come to christ you pass through, through the cross your nature your all sinful nature which is called the flesh which this the bible talk about it here he said now the works of the flesh is manifest adultery so all those people who are still in the world who have not come to christ this is what the works of the flesh manifest adultery uncleanliness fornication they cannot control all that they cannot control it because it is the work of the flesh, the sinful nature, the devil nature, the rebellion nature. That is what produce. You know, you can't control it. That's why some people say, "I can't do anything. I cannot do anything because they are not born again." So when you come to Jesus Christ, then you are led by the Spirit of God, and then now you all that your flesh, your affection, your lust, things that you used to like to do, they will be crucified on the cross the bible did not say that you should go and crucify those things because you cannot do it by yourself your flesh cannot crucify the flesh so this was done on with jesus christ on calvary on the cross of calvary the bible talk about that even in collation too say now that our old nature is circumcised that is our heart is circumcised the old nature the the heart of a stone is removed the jesus christ the holy ghost is the one that does our job to circumcise us amen in jesus name so the works the bible say that the, the the flesh lost after the spirit and the spirit lost after the flesh they are contrary to one another yeah can you can you see somebody who is in the world can he please please the holy ghost no the bible tells said that they are enemies you know you cannot the bible said we were enemy before we were enemy until where we were reconciled when we came to christ they say even when we were enemies jesus christ died for us that's what the bible says when we were we have not come to the lord so anybody who is still in the flesh is against is against god it's against the holy ghost you can see it in the world they're against god they're against the holy spirit amen in jesus name so the works of the flesh is witchcraft you go to any country you see all witchcraft adultery you see somebody drinking envy hatred all kind of stuff it is all the works of the flesh the works of the sinful nature and that sinful nature when you come to christ is crucified with the lord jesus christ on the cross of cover you don't have to crucify your flesh you cannot crucify your flesh with your flesh you this this work was done on Calvary by the father himself you are crucified pastor your affection and your loss amen and then now the holy spirit come and live in you your body is the temple of god the mystery of the of the new creation man is christ is living now in you which is the hope of glory amen so we walk now in the spirit amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so we don't fulfill the 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 works of the flesh we walk in the spirit because we are now in the spirit the holy spirit is now living in us and those who are not born again the holy spirit does not live in them their their, their spirit man is dead but when you come to christ the bible said the god quicken your spirit man and then you are alive again jesus christ start to live in your spirit the holy ghost start to live in you your body is the temple of the holy ghost you are led now by the spirit of god you are not under the law the works of the flesh 
flesh is not your portion you don't do the works of the flesh because the flesh is crucified with all his affection and his loss so you don't do all the works of the flesh the devil will tempt you here and there to see whether your old man is still alive the bible says anyone that is dead is free from sin so the, uh, the devil will come to tempt you for many things to see whether that old man is still alive to wake that old man up to say oh are you still alive because the bible says when you are dead you are free from sin have you seen a dead man who is in the grave you go and wake up and say oh you committed this you know the person is dead so the bible says we died with christ amen we are dead our life is sitting now in christ and christ is in god we were crucified with christ amen nevertheless we live it's not us that is living again but it's christ that is living his life now in us amen in the name of jesus today those that belong to jesus christ have crucified all their affection and their loss amen you will see paul speak here in the book of galatians 6 verse um, 14 he said god forbid that i should glory in the flesh i will glory only on the cross of our lord jesus christ of whom the world is crucified unto me and i unto the world yes because he died unto the ruling powers of the world he died unto the world he said the world is dead unto me and i am also dead to the world yes the bible says that when you have you come to christ you are dead you are dead you you are you died with the lord jesus christ you are dead unto the world you are dead with all the from all the ruling powers of the world that's why the book of Colossians say so now the world we are crucified to the world we and the world because the 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 world the people in the world they look at us as dead people we also look at them like dead people amen in the name of jesus so that is the true contrary hallelujah glory be to god so let us not desire vain glory amen so they talk about the works the the now the fruit of the spirit the holy ghost is the one when you are born again the holy spirit come to you now and he's the one that bring all this fruit he gives you faith that's why everybody who is in christ have faith he gives you faith he gives you peace he gives you long suffering you have joy no matter what this is. long suffering means that you can perseverance you can persevere he gives you temperance that means self-control amen in jesus name, you have self-control you have meekness that is all the fruit meekness temperance gentleness goodness is all the fruit that come from the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And he continues to say, they that are those who are, who have the fruit of the Spirit and all those who are the they say there such there is no law there's no law against you we die to the law with the lord jesus christ we are not under the law again we are under god's grace amen sin cannot have dominion over us again because the works of the flesh the old nature that used to cause us to sin that old nature we wish used to this mr flesh which they call the old man was crucified past tense with the lord jesus christ on the cross of calvary if you are a born again christian but if you are not a born again christian you are still in your flesh you are still in your sinful nature and the lord jesus christ says that you must be born again so that you can be translated from the head of adam to the head of the second adam which is the lord jesus christ amen in jesus name anyone that is born in the face of the earth is a sinner all have sinned and fall short to the glory of god amen in jesus name but the lord jesus christ now came now and die for us to give us everlasting life if you believe in the gospel the bible says that the preaching of the gospel is foolishness to all those that perish the people in the world but those who are safe like me and you it is the power of god in the name of jesus i'm your host today sister evangelist i tell god bless you in the name of jesus christ i hope this encourage you in jesus christ mighty name in jesus name read the book of galatians but galatians 5 read it from verse yeah just read the whole Galatia 5 and he explained to you this what I was explaining in Jesus name Shalom God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ I cover every one of you with the blood of Jesus in Jesus name God loves you in Jesus name